2016. With that, we will actually jump to two of the Israeli startups that you mentioned. We'll start with um, Avi Kahani, who's joining us from FF Robotics. Hello, this is Pat Pinkston. Actually, uh, Avi and I will be uh, joining you together. Um, ah. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening uh, to whomever, whatever time zone you're in. I want to thank you to the Western Growers Association for hosting this, and it's really refreshing to see uh, an organization pulling together a, an integrated approach and the, providing transparency to growers and producers. Um, as I said, Avi Kahani is with me. Avi is the CEO of Fresh Fruit Robotics, and I'm Pat Pinkston. I'm a, an advisor to that organization. It was great to hear um, Aram, Aram say the, about the innovation and maturity of these solutions. I think what you're going to see in this particular case is that not only is there innovation here, but it has now reached a mature site. As, as Gil pointed out, the Fresh Fruit Robotics team has been working on this for a number of years, and we would like to say that the future of fresh fruit, fruit harvesting is actually today. So if you go to the next slide and kind of kick off the video. It's so successful. Well, just quickly, I was just to go, but there's the political world. So, just... so this is a video actually of the 2019 harvest that uh, the machine from Fresh Fruit Robotics had provided. Um, you can see that this machine is trying to emulate the, the hand harvesting that comes from a, uh, those that work in the field. Uh, it's using image processing and AI machine learning. It identifies, classifies, and selects the right fruit. There's very gentle handling from the tree to the bin with a stem cutting station you can see there. Um, it picks a wide variety of tree fruit using these robotic arms with a linear motion and a very gentle gripper. It's a very simple design, mechanical design, to provide for the uptime and can work at night and has uh, a proven gentle uh, bin binning and bin handling equipment. So if you go to the next slide, this is the current iteration of that machine. Uh, shortly we'll have a video out for the 2020 harvest that is provided. There are some additional improvements of this machine, including integrating bin handling into the machine where you can actually exist, use the existing bin handling equipment and bin handling approach, as well as some additional improvements in, in other areas of the machine to help it really uh, provide the best results. Again, this is all being done with uh, a 35 horsepower, simple kind of design that really can uh, uh, provide extreme value for the growers and producers. Next slide, please. And of course, we want to say thanks to those growers who provided the support in, in revising their orchards, moving the whole industry forward in a way that not only benefits the fruit, but really enables robotic harvesting to occur. We've been able to be fortunate to deal with those growers, as well as have great industry support from folks like the Washington Tree Fruit Research Commission and Ed Hanrahan and that group, as well as Karen Lewis from the Washington State University Extension Group. Again, one of the focuses of this uh, conference is to try and find a way to collaborate and integrate. And we worked very hard to try and do that with the other industry groups that are out there. Next slide, please. Of course, we talked a lot about the cost and quality management. How do we automate and mechanize harvesting and the other operations in the orchard? But we also wanna make sure, back to again, this theme of having an integrated system, how do we focus as well on sustainability? the documentation, the traceability that's being demanded today, providing insights by tree and by fruit location on the tree, and then working with partners and collaborating with the industry to make sure that the appropriate actions can be taken, hopefully in real time, to provide the optimum outcome and the ultimate sustainability for the environment, for the producer, and for the growers, and for others engaged in this industry. Next slide, please. So we showed you the earlier uh, a, a picture of this, uh, the FFR robot, which me uh, mechanizes and automates the, uh, the operation, has 12 robotic arms, there's six on each side, using machine learning and AI, as I talked about a simple mechanical design, proven conveyor and bidding system, and can work 24-7. In 2021, there will be machines harvesting in both Washington and the EU. And the intent is to demonstrate further the machine function, the production rate, and most of all, the quality that comes out of this machine relative to having bin ready fruit when it comes out of the machine. And we'll obviously be continuing to develop development of this machine, improving the production rate, 
and focusing on other features and feedback that we get from the growers. Next slide. We were fortunate again, back to collaboration, to have some proven partners with some proven components. The chassis and power that comes for this machine is provided by Automated Ag, who is well known as manufacturers of harvest aid systems. And then the fruit handling and binning is being provided by our partner, Moff Rota, who is well known globally for their development and delivery of uh, fruit handling systems and capabilities. Next slide. Of course, as we said, this needs to be an integrated system. And one of the biggest opportunities in addition to the uh, automation and mechanization of the harvesting is to provide additional insights for what's going on in the orchard. So using cloud services, the ability to be able to store and access data, provide the data security through cloud services, integrating data inputs from other sources that can help integrate the overall solution providing reporting and data analytics that really help you not only by, by tree, but by position of the fruit on the tree to get further insights on what's going on in the orchard. And then using that along with AI to provide recommendations based on their own uh, results and their own impact, as well as global sources that can help better manage and deliver sustainable operations in orchards today. Next slide, please. Again, we applaud what's going on with Global Harvest Automation and the initiative here, the focus on standardization, the ability to provide a solution, an overall solution. I think as was pointed out earlier, in many cases, the producer, the operator is the integrator today of a bunch of multiple pinpoint uh, uh, solutions, finding a way to connect those and, and uh, provide a broader overall solution set is really what's after. That it requires obviously the interfaces to be uh, connected and data integration, working strongly with the industry across the industry on uh, insights that they can have and looking for ways to improve and engage growers, industry partners and others. And then clearly all of this has to provide value for the growers and for those that they serve in the industry and for their customers. So that's really an overview, next slide. That's really an overview of the fresh fruit robotics activity. We look forward to your engagement here this summer and, uh, and this fall. And uh, we believe that the future of fresh fruit harvesting has arrived with the orchard solutions that fresh fruit harvesting, fresh fruit robotics provides, as well as the overall integrated solution of Orchard Insights. Thank you. Thank you, Pat, that's great. Um...